tell us about your experience with Doctor Who. So they're very, very loyal fans, and I've always said this, but some of them are really good at drawing. Oh, you, what, sorry, you don't know about What's fan art joke? yet, John. No, I don't no, know about fan, art. fan art, yeah. I haven't had any fan art. I'll draw, I'll draw you some, John. <laughs> so that's it. Apparently fan art is something to look forward to. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some corners of this universe which have bred the most terrible things. Things which act against everything that we believe in. They must be showcased on stream and apparently on ITV because a couple of days ago... The John Bishop show made its two-year-long hiatus, like, debut. It had been off air for a couple of years because of the pandemic, because of lockdowns and stuff. You can't have a live studio audience and stuff. But the John Bishop show was able to make a glorious return to ITV. And I obviously can't play the entire clip because of content I do And all you, the chat knows what's going on. The chat knows what's up. So I can't play the whole clip in, in its entirety. And I know that Curiosity Rocks who is the instigator of all of this, was in the live chat earlier. I don't know if they're still here, but Curiosity Rocks, this this goes out to you, okay? You are now an icon in the Doctor Who universe. So for those of you who don't know, folks, and obviously not safe for work or whatever, you may want to have headphones on when you're watching this or listening to this, okay? So fan art is a glorious part of the Doctor Who universe. We have had Curiosity Rocks is in the chat. Curiosity Rocks is in the chat. Okay, so, we all know that fan art is a glorious part of the Doctor Who and just the general fandom experience. However, some of it went to very different lengths. We've seen wonderful, wholesome images of the TARDIS team from Doctor Who Flux. Um, but uh, John Bishop decided with guests Sarah Milligan and James Nesbitt, and full disclosure, I've worked with James Nesbitt on that Stay Close show on Netflix. Uh, he was promoting that on here. So, uh, yeah, Curiosity Rocks is in the chat. We, he also mentioned, uh, I'll just hide my webcam this brilliant um, uh, knitted version of himself, uh, which is brilliant. So yeah, he talked about fan art and the fan art experience, and James Nesbitt was there as well, uh, showing a uh, fan art of his character in The Hobbit. Uh, so I'm very glad that John Bishop framed this conversation as not just a, this is what Doctor Who fans do, Doctor Who fans are insane, this is all fandoms, this is The Hobbit character that James Nesbitt played. Dr. Bonnie says, what, James, what was James like? Um, I didn't chat to him too much, but he very serious. He, he appeared very serious, which I think is maybe his code for professional. I don't have many interactions with him, but he seemed, he seemed fine. So, okay. So there was all of this interaction, <laughs> which uh, was, I, I'm so glad that John Bishop framed it the way he did here. So he talks about fan art and he gives the context for his character in Doctor Who Flux getting kidnapped by a six foot four dog man played by Craig Ells. And some of the artwork and the fan art that he got from Curiosity Rocks, who is in the chat. Uh, I think this is a Curiosity Rocks artwork, but either way, this is um, artwork of them being chummy. You know what I mean? Mates. Just lads, just lads yeah, together. Laugh. It then yeah, moved on to another... Just, just lads hanging out, just lads chatting, just lads yeah. hanging out. Oh, yeah. Here we go, and this is just this is just cuddling. This is this is quite cute and wholesome. Yeah, a little bit tipsy, maybe. You know what I, mean? I love like, you, mate. Yeah, I've cuddled a dog, but I've never been cuddled by a dog. <laughs> okay. Then it moved on another level. Escalation says defrosted robot seventy six. Yes, escalation. Um, that's <laughs> that face. Okay, no, I'm only laughing not because of disrespect to the artwork. This is actually a really cool sketch because because I know what's coming and I'm just uh, I'm just know what's coming. I mean, it's like me in the dog's box, and you can see in my eyes. I'm wondering what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> that look in the eyes, I, I know what <laughs> he's a coming. Uh, Curiosity Rock says, yep, it's all my artwork. Even that uh, that uh, initial one. Awesome stuff, cool. So yeah, that sense of escalation. Um, okay, oh, clipping in the chat says, this is actually the first shipping art I've seen. This has been your entry point? Okay, here we go. Box. <laughs> and you can see in my eyes, I'm wondering what just happened. And also, um, Winnie is here. So Winnie just backhanded me. I've no, I, okay, 
Anyway, here we go, folks. I'll tell you what just happened, because you can see it in the next no. picture. This is your chance to back out now. Oh, no, it's happened. Tom went to this, why didn't they show the proper image? They were building up to it. They showed this on ITV at like 10 p.m. This went out on one of the biggest channels in the UK, on the, one of the biggest late night shows happening at the moment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, the Gherkin says, well, it was post-Watershed. Well, oh yeah, this didn't go out on CBBC, thankfully. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Tom White says, it's not even that safe for work. That is, I would not show that to my boss. I would not show that. Would you show that at your workplace? <laughs> Man, I didn't use it as my Christmas card this year. <laughs> But the mad thing about it is me and Craig are saying, have you seen these pictures? Have you seen... Oh my... Get your bleach. Okay, so honestly, this is a very interesting display of fan art. And what I will say is this is unconventional fan art, okay? This is unconventional fan art. Um, I'm going to get a pan away from that before YouTube maybe demonetizes the stream or something. But what is interesting uh, about this fan art is that... Um, <laughs> okay um main protagonist says right i've seen so much worse in terms of not safe for work um i honestly i'm not sure I, i'm not going to try and come up with the tier list of what is um what is fine or what is not fine for me the fact that it's a animal a six foot four animal i mean that might skew it somewhat i do not know i am not the arbiter of these laws and i do not make this i, I do not make this list but uh, for Tom Schuch says it's the bestiality angle that makes it not safe for work. But the Lupari are incredibly highly intelligent dogmen. So wouldn't it be, like, from his perspective, like, bestiality? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Curiosity Rex says, I love Rule 34 on ITV. So what's great, though, is that... Um, is that John Bishop seems to have taken that in his stride. And of course, he's a comedian. He is, of course, going to milk that sort of thing for uh, for jokes and for laughs. And I think that's a great way to approach it. My issue at the time, though, my issue at the time was that when that artwork was doing the rounds on Twitter, of course, Doctor Who Twitter was like, oh my goodness, what's, what's going on? What has happened here? What's the audacity of this? I think the issue was that many people were tagging in Craig Ells and John Bishop on Twitter, tagging them into the artwork. And I think for me, that was kind of where the line got crossed a little bit. And that's not uh, that's not me taking an issue with Curiosity Rocks. I don't think they, they tagged the actors involved at all. I think it's the type of thing that... Um, uh, the actors should uh, engage with in their own time and in their own way. It's not something that they should be tagged into on Twitter by fans so that when they go onto their phone, oh, all of a sudden it's bam, it's just right in front of me. For me, that was the issue. But Curiosity Rocks, you're in the chat right now, yeah? You're in the chat right um, Did they? Did ITV get in contact with you or did the John Bishop show get in contact with you? about showing those images or, or was that was it appearing on itv the other day like the very first like awareness that you had that this was happening i d were you told beforehand because you you were credited in the in the program as well as you should be you should be credited for that kate cast review says wait this is why people were freaking out about john bishop uh is it weird i'm relieved that this is the reason uh the 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 bit also opened the show also opened with a pretty like poor taste islamophobic joke like i don't know if like john bishop himself wrote it because like for example the late late show of james corden which is i think this is a good comparison too because it's like a late night show with a studio audience and stuff like that uh james corden like hardly writes any of that stuff it'll go through him but he won't write it or at least he won't write the majority of it um so yeah but curiosity rock says yes they sent me a contract to sign in december okay so, okay so it wasn't just oh this is appearing on my tv now what well, well a scoop so yeah okay so I'm, I'm glad that they did get into contact with you and that they didn't just put it put it on air without asking you first i'm glad that those um that uh those boundaries or the the credit and everything that was respected that was good like i said earlier i'm very glad that uh it got framed this this whole thing got framed with the lead in with the context of this um uh this cotton man uh this this knitted man this knitted john bishop who is fully atomically correct shall we say because they show it early on in the show uh, and also the hobbit discussion uh so it wasn't just here we go this is 
only Doctor Who is mad. Only Doctor Who does this, does this sort of uh, artwork. But yeah, so I'm glad they framed it like that. And uh, Carol Chu says, to his defense, it was a face covering joke. I don't think it, it wasn't obviously a hateful and a spiteful joke, but it was one of those things like, what is the joke? It was probably one of those things where maybe they just shouldn't have done it. it maybe a joke that just should have been on the cutting room floor, but yeah. This is a credit on Twitter to Sage X Onion uh, for the for the joke that he did at the beginning of the show. I don't know if you want to wear a mask. Everyone looks the same. I mean, I'm looking around this audience. I'll be honest with you. It's like doing a Jake and a Hindu in Riyadh. Like doing a Hindu in uh, Riyadh, which is the capital of Saudi Arabia, and there's the masked up audience. Like. I'm not quite sure what the joke is other than you're wearing face masks and that's something that people in Saudi Arabia do. Like, it's not a particularly, aff I don't know if it's an offensive joke, but it's not a particularly good joke. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the person you should be asking about this. Anyway, now that we've done that, apparently Dan Venista is canon. Obviously, as somebody who is outside of those fandoms and those shipping fandoms and stuff like that, it's not, of course, my place to say. Gurkman says it's a lazy joke. It absolutely, yeah, it's a lazy joke. I'm more, personally, I'm more offended by the laziness of it as opposed to the actual implications against um, people who live in Saudi Arabia or Muslims and etc. whatever demographic they were going for. But yeah, Curiosity Rocks, Kudos to you if, you if you're still in the chat. Kudos to you for getting that artwork out there uh, for John Bishop, um, for John Bishop's late night show talking about it. That's 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 quite an achievement. Like the subject matter, I could take or leave. It's not my thing. But props on your artistic ability of being able to depict that so thoughtfully, and for being such a terrific sport about it. Okay, um, I look forward to whatever you do next. Um, in terms of artwork. I look forward to it uh, with great anticipation. Curiosity Rocks is on Twitter, at Curiosity uh, Rocks. Yeah, at Curiosity Rocks. Uh, so check them out if that fan art is your thing. And thank you very much, Curiosity Rocks, for being here in the chat this evening. Uh, I massively appreciate you being here for this discussion. I did not expect that. Oh, Curiosity Rocks is my Who channel is Who Ventures. Let's have a quick gander. Since you've Kind of been like almost a co-guest here. Thank you so much for being here. Who Ventures. Here we go. Who Ventures. 750 subscribers. Check out Who Ventures for Curiosity Rocks uh, channel. Brilliant stuff. 